Wow, 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 wow. We are back at school in my apartment wearing all the clothes that I didn't have. Like my little derbies, get that on the ultra wide. My derbies that I didn't bring because I thought I'd get those to Moulinister boots. <clears throat> but they were stolen from the apartment. I don't know why I'm using this ultra wide lens. Maybe to give you guys an idea of where I live so you can see my whole lanky wingspan. Okay. But. It's good, it's dramatic, so then when I lean in and tell you why you should make a belt, you have to listen to me, because I'm right there in front of you. What's up guys, it's Avery. Today I'm going to be talking about a belt I made and why you might want to make one. Hopefully I can, I can convince you, because it's totally worth it. So I'm pulling up a little script, a little notes that I took on why and how and what I did and everything. But I pretty much made this full grain leather belt that I'm super happy with it, with how it turned out. Now it's in Kaylee's wardrobe because I made it a bit small. Anyway, what it comes down to is it's a super fun, rewarding, and super, super, super far worth it. Gosh, I see my necklace like reflecting. I hope that's not going crazy. But it's a super, super worth it project. Just had to boost the brightness a bit. Oh, it probably got real loud there. So I'm not gonna give you guys this super particular step-by-step -step tutorial today. Although if you're interested, you can see a diagram of the belt I made and all the materials down in the description below. So head there if you want some more info. Back to the whole why it's worth it thing for around $100 less or more, depending on how, how complex your belt is, how much stuff you're buying, especially hardware, for example, you can get all of your equipment. So that's like hole punches, dies, the leather itself, buckles, all of that. And then in the future, it's gonna be a fraction of that to create a unique belt. You're gonna use full grain leather, which for a project like this is the highest quality that will rival multi hundred dollar designer level brand belts for a fraction of the price and you can customize it exactly to your liking. And a huge kicker is repairability, being able to fix, correct, alter, um, create something for someone else, for yourself, whatever, and just make something last longer than you last here with us. It's super rewarding at that. I don't really know what I'm saying, but just being able to repair stuff. So for my project, I use two widths of full grain raw leather, some belt keepers in various sizes, a hole punch, edge beveler, rivet setter, some rivets, D-rings, hoops, black dye, and satin finisher. And of course, a belt buckle too. You gotta track down the right one. And this project didn't take long at all. It really depends on how intricate you wanna get but mine is fairly complex. The idea is pretty simple, but there's a lot of rivets and belt loops and whatever to think about, and it took maybe an afternoon, probably even less than that. What it comes down to is ideating, thinking of what you wanna make, doing some research on how to dye leather and whatnot, but it says it on the cans that it's super simple. Cutting the leather, dyeing it. For mine, I roughed up the dyeing process to give it a little bit of a worn or vintage, uneven, aged sort of look. And also with that, this leather, a huge benefit of it is that it's going to wear in exactly to your body. I mean, there's not that much difference there, I think, between people's bodies, but being able to design a belt for yourself and then having this stiff, raw leather that's gonna break in beautifully and age with time and really put some character on it. Molding to your body scratches, where the buckle is, what hole you put it through, um, it's stuff that's already come up on Kaylee's in just a few days of wear. Then leather dried out, put a satin finisher on it, which is a nice matte, like very, very low level of gloss for a really cool vintage, aggressive, raw look like this belt has. And then I just use the two different widths of leather, put some, what are they called? Put some rivets in there, D-rings between different rivets, some at the very ends, you could hook stuff on. Another small idea is taking a belt loop that's too long in length and opening that up, putting a hoop on it that you could do wallet chains, whatever, out of um, keychain. Who, who even knows? There you go, a little hoop there. But there are endless things to do. Like this belt that I have on right now is one of my absolute favorites. I thrifted it and the leather is super poor quality. It's pretty good for finding at an Indianan thrift shop. Is that the correct term, Indianan? And it looks exactly, exactly, exactly like this Yoji belt I saw in Austria and fell in love with, but that shit was like $400. So this a little bit thicker with the perfect buckle is something that I would be interested in making later. But especially when it comes to studs and grommets and rivets and all the different shapes of that, 
or leaving it plain, making it a bit more mature, making it a bit more juvenile and more aggressive and whatever. It's just, it's infinite. I tried to make an in-between Kaylee and I size, but it ended up becoming way too small. So you might want to double check that, but nonetheless, I'm really excited to make more belts. And I think that very simple punk, like very classic vintage punk bondage belt is great for her wardrobe and her style. But yeah, I want to make a bunch of different variations. If you guys are interested, but don't want to go after it, feel free to DM me because I do want to make a bunch more so I could always make some extras. I think I can talk about more of the belt itself in the future, the style, because bondage is a term that's sort of being drugged through the sludge and the mud right now. Um, it's sort of revitalizing and getting popular, but in very weird ways. But I'm just an opinionated idiot on the internet thinking about how glamorous it is now. Far too late. Weird, weird. I can talk about it more in a later video because now that I'm back at school, I'm considering making really consistent casual uploads for you guys this semester and trying that out. Talking more, trying to upload more frequently, that sort of thing. But I hope you guys like this. I encourage you to try anything out like this. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a belt. There's so many great DIYs out there that hopefully I can bring more of the ones I'm interested to you guys later. But this belt turned out super well and it was the first try, first go, and I was really pleased with the result. So thank you guys for hanging out today. I hope you guys are having a good 2018 gearing up to go back to school. Hope you're all real excited about it, right? Until next time, everyone do me one last favor. Have a good day for me. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.